Shut up and sit down. I'm Alex Baltrades, and this is the post view review for Mother's Day. This movie has some major issues. The actors all did fine. It was sometimes funny, but no matter how hard it tried to give the feels, it didn't work. It romanticizes the mother-child relationship while downplaying the importance of the father-child relationship. The narrative was messy with 20 transitions, but most of all, the message it sends is downright dangerous to mental health. No actor stood out as doing a bad job. If anything, everyone was adequate. The movie also has some good laugh out loud moments, most of which were a bit kooky, but still within the realm of reality. The movie banked hard on the adoption storyline making me feel something, but that just didn't happen. I made jokes in the pre-watch thoughts that Roberts was obviously the mother of the adopted woman, but they don't try to make this a surprise in the movie, so it feels like that was more bad marketing than bad narrative. Instead, this story was meant to make us feel something. It didn't work. Maybe because the marketing misdirected me, and maybe because it was so rosy, and I can't help but think that there are sadder situations presented in this movie. And then there's all the romanticizing of the relationship as if no one has a mother bad enough to completely end the relationship. I've known people with mothers so bad they should be in prison. This movie would say, but she'll always be their mother. No matter what's happened between us, you're always my mother. Like that's somehow a good thing. One mother in this movie did not deserve to have a relationship with her children. For that matter, neither did their father. Not if they're going to be that much of an unsupportive jerk. Just because a person is family doesn't mean they are automatically worth having in your life, no matter how immediate the relationship. Because family is just chance. This movie also overstates the importance of motherhood at the same time as crapping on fatherhood. I know that seems like the whole when they have more, I have less argument, but when one of the fathers says that a mother knows exactly what her family needs, he is suggesting that he, as a father, doesn't. Then it's not in the imagination. Fathers are just as important to families as mothers. As one of the few people I know who had a good dad, I cannot overstate how important they can be. It doesn't mean mothers are less important. It's just that they aren't the linchpin of the family people make them out to be. Both have a huge effect on their children, especially by their absence. This idea also kind of invalidates two-father households, which feels a bit homophobic. Okay, I'm done. Now I'm going to talk spoilers, which mostly has to do with why Robert's character gave up her daughter, so skip ahead to get my rating. <laughs> It's funny that I watched this in the same week that I'm working out with my doctor how to get sterilization as a child-free woman, so I am obviously not in the demo for this movie. I have never been a fan of, and never will be a fan of, the cult of motherhood. Having a child is simply a biological function. Most people can do it, which is why it sucks for those who can't, but especially when movies like this make it out to be the most important thing a person, but especially a woman, can do. I would have more respect for the movie if Julia Roberts' character had said that she had never wanted children because guess what? Those women exist. They have abortions and they put their children up for adoption. God forbid this movie show something more real. Instead, she always wanted her daughter but was too young and her and the father loved each other too. It's a fairy tale for adopted children. Is it this way for some birth mothers? Yes, absolutely. Is it this way for most birth mothers. Probably not. So the majority of the adopted people out there watching this, who maybe know that this isn't the truth of their situation, have to see this rosy image of being given up. It just seems cruel. <laughs> I 
I definitely wouldn't suggest this movie to anyone who had or has a good relationship with their father or who had a bad relationship with their mother. It plays to the new religion of parenthood hard, but especially motherhood. It is worth a laugh sometimes, but it's not stellar. As I thought it would be, it's a little messy narratively and thematically unsavory. Before you think that, as a child-free woman, that I think mothers and motherhood are inherently awful, understand that I think the cultish deification of mothers is damaging to women. If they can't be perfect like Hollywood and social media suggests they should be, then they are utter failures. It puts too much pressure on women in the Western culture and is damaging to their mental health. This movie feeds into that. I can't recommend this movie, which is why I give it a 4 out of 10. Sorry, but bad messages over what is a complex issue like the maternal identity makes for a bad movie. Mother's Day. Swing and a miss. This was Post View Review, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share, subscribe, click that bell, leave a comment below, visit my blog at empatheticwriter.wordpress.com, and follow me on Patreon for exclusive content and a shout out on a video. Merch, 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 yeah! Check out my new shop at cafepress.com slash alexvaltrades for all kinds of products with my face on them.